Press pause and answer the question. So what we're doing here is we're taking a can, like this size, and we're doubling the radius. But when we double the radius, we want to have the same volume, so somehow we're going to have to shrink the height. We're going to have to shrink the height. Now, in just about any kind of three-dimensional extruded volume like a can, like a cylinder, we can figure out the volume by taking the area of the base and then multiplying it by its height across the extrusion. And you know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So in this case, we've doubled r. We've doubled r. And the correct answer is this one, that the height of the can will be one quarter of the original, which may seem a little drastic. But if you've ever seen one of those, like sometimes a restaurant will give you a tall, thin glass, and you start drinking it, and the, the liquid in your glass just starts going down really quickly. And that's because Every time we double the radius of a cylinder, we have increased its volume by four. And every time we half the radius, we've decreased its volume to a point where it's one quarter of the original. And so if we double the radius, we're going to have one quarter of the height. Let me show you how to figure that out. So the volume of the can, the volume of the cylinder, is V equals pi r squared h. And again, you see that the pi r squared is the area of the base, and then h is just the height. Now, we're going to replace r with 2r, because we've doubled the radius. So we can say that the volume of our new can is equal to pi times 2r, and we're going to square that 2r times the height. Then we see that the volume of the new can, v2, is equal to pi times 4r squared times the height. And we can take that 4 out, and we get the volume is 4 times pi r squared times the height. And this here, right here, pi r squared times the height, that's our original volume. That's our v1. So then we have v2 equals 4 times v1. So if we kept the height the same, then we'd wind up with 4 times the volume. So in order to keep the volume the same, we need to reduce the height, and we need to do it by the inverse of that 4. We need to multiply the height by 1 fourth.